girl Michelle A, and we're here at the Urban Food Festival in Miami. And uh, sir, please let everybody know what your name is. Uh, my name is Philly Flyboy. Uh, I'm a director, editor, uh, and uh, creative content creator uh, based out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Oh, yes. Um, what is your role here at the Urban Food Festival? So originally I knew Marco through music videos. I did uh, one of my first big projects uh, with him. And ever since then, he's kind of pushed me into the film world. Uh, and we've kind of integrated that in the music video world as well. We've taken some of the music videos and turned them into short films. Uh, and now I've actually shot my first feature film that we premiered here last night. Oh, nice. Tell me the name of it, because this is your coming out party as a filmmaker. Filmmaking, I'm, I'm, I'm new to the game. Uh. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. So, no, nah, I'm just talking shit. But really, in, in, in real life, I think, you know, for me, it, it might sound like an easy thing. Like, oh, yeah, if you do music video, you're going to film. It's not. It's literally apples and oranges. It, it, although a camera's involved, that's about the only thing that's the same between the two. Uh, so, for me, it was, it's nervous. I feel like, you know, it's a new world for me. I, I humbled myself and, and focused and became a student of film now uh, so that I can execute the way I need to. I'm not taking what I've done in the music video world and translated it. I've acted as if I don't know anything at all so that I can absorb that information and become a good filmmaker. Um, so it's called Liberty City. It was presented to me by um, two guys that I ironically seen a piece of content that I made for a music video, but that was like a short film music video. And they were like, hey, bro, like, you think you could do a feature? And I'm like, I mean, why not? I'm like, I mean, you know, and I really, to be honest with you, in the back of my head, I was like, I don't know. I don't know what I, you know. So, of course, it worked out well because they wanted to shoot in Miami and my support system of Marco and Florida Film House is here. So that's the reason why I said, oh, yeah. We can do it because I knew that any anything that I was going to do as far as like dropping the ball and things like that, Marco and blah, and these guys here would help me and support me as I stumbled through the process. So, you know, I, I and that's a key element. I feel like when you're transitioning in genres or just in life in general is is, is creating a team and a support system around you that because you're going to make mistakes no matter what, but it's how you recover from the mistakes. And if you have that team around you, your recovery is so much faster and you can get back to doing what you're supposed to do. Definitely. And I looked forward to watching Liberty City, but you know, for me, I watched it and I said, wow, I'm so happy that they, well, you, <laughs> that you've included, you know, races like Latinos and the urban community, because of course, sometimes as Latino, we don't see any representation of us, but you know that we're all together we're all a family as far as when it comes to the urban community african americans latinos any other race out there we all you know want to see a representation and you definitely did that with liberty city so you are being very humble right now please tell me who you've worked with uh i mean music wise uh i mean it's pretty much i mean kendrick lamar ti j cole uh bob kevin gates uh i mean uh, you know yeah a lot of a lot of a lot of people but it's been it's really to be honest with you another mentor for me in, in, in my life has been an artist by the name of trey the truth trey pushed me to really go hard in the music video world and gave me those introductions and, and put me in position to, to be able to advance and level up so again marco was is my film guy pushing me and then trey the truth is an artist based out of houston trey was really the one that pushed me hard to go and, and, and go nuts with the music video and had the relationships in place to give me those bigger looks too so two things marco trey put me in them plays so again that mentorship you know yes and you ready you doing it and you did a great job with liberty city i gotta tell you i just want to know what is coming next for you as far as filmmaking goes so I actually, ironically, shot a short film with Trey The Truth. That's going to be my next feature film coming out. Uh, it's called Activated. Uh, it's a story me and Trey wrote together and then finessed on set as well, based on the resources that we had or didn't have. Uh, <laughs> you got you to gotta do it. You know, you got to do it whichever way you got to do it. You got to do it. But again, Trey's a resourceful guy. Uh, we had the, the, the Bay Area rapper by the name of Mozzie. Uh, Mozzie's up and coming big dude he's, at, he's kind of on the cusp of becoming like a huge international artist rapper guy he co-stars in it which is really dope and ironically he's very comfortable on camera and he has no acting like he's never done anything before but a natural 
a very a very natural so that helped because it adds that production quality so that's the next uh, uh film that i'll be dropping it's called activated It'll be the second one uh, on the roster so i'm excited for that Oh, well, we excited to hear that you're working on something else that's coming up. Definitely going to look out for you. What about your social media? Can we find you through there? Yes. All these aspiring actors and filmmakers and producers definitely want to probably get with you too. So so here's the deal. Like with, with, with social, another thing about my social, I kind of treat my social like a classroom too. Uh, I'm sponsored by uh, the C hard drives as well. And they have me in a program called Collective HQ, which is basically uh, a mentorship where they have 10 or 12 high level creatives that they sponsor and what we do is we create competitions and and content that educates young and upcoming filmmakers uh so through that collective agency you can basically come on there and i'm giving information and i'm doing all kinds of different things so make sure you look for the let collective hq uh web page because that's where i'm going to be giving a lot of informational content as well but on my social as well at philly flyboy all spelled correctly no caps no spaces philly flyboy um you're going to see a lot of variety of me working on set. And I always try to give some kind of value to my posts. So for instance, even as, if it's as simple as just describing what's going on in the scene or what equipment I'm using some way, some way, uh, some way in, in some form of fashion that you're going to get some kind of education with every piece of content. Well, that is great. Philly Flyboy, don't forget to check him out because he got a lot of information to give. Thank you for giving back because that's pretty dope too. Yeah, no, I didn't get, no one, no one really helped me because I was, and I kind of did a disservice to myself. I never really reached out to people. I was kind of shy and I wasn't really confident. So I know that struggle of being, you know, the lack of information, lack of resources. I understand that very well. So I try to, you know, instead of just telling people to thug it out and figure it out themselves, I'm trying to do the opposite of that and, and giving that game. And, and every time I stumbled and was able to correct myself, you can avoid these stumbles that I did. Just listen to some of these techniques that I give. And I give real world advice. I don't give you theory like, hey, if you believe it, you can make it happen. Like, <laughs> I'm like, yo, here's what you do. You go to this website, you sign up for this and you take this course and you go here and then you'll be good. So it's like real world advice that gets you around all these hurdles that I had to go through myself. So let me mess it up. And I did mess it up. And now you get to learn from my mistakes. There's no better way. Well, there you got it, Philly Flyboy. Don't forget to check him out. It's your girl, Michelle A.